This video is mostly to demonstrate my completed battlesuits for the Tau. I will, however, narrate over these pictures with some brief lore for my faction, the Ta'al People's Republic. The cross -taw systems would be enveloped by the warp storms caused by the Great Rift during the expansion of the Fifth Sphere. What would emerge as the tides of the warp rescinded were no longer allies to their former ethereal masters in the Tau Empire. A revolutionary, casteless society would begin their war on any bordering power, Tau, human, orc, or any other sentient force in their proximity. Naming themselves the Tau Democratic People's Republic or the Tau People's Republic, they would strike with ferocity and fanaticism. Organized into forces fighting in every one of their new theaters is their new Tao Revolutionary Liberation Army. The RV-90T Revolt is the primary battlesuit produced for the Tao Revolutionary Liberation Army. Larger than the Crisis Suit, and largely mimicking the Broadside Suit, it is the most reliable platform in the army, and it is considered precious despite its proportionately large numbers in their own service. Limited production runs often mean these machines are treated with extreme care. Infantry units, APCs, and even tanks will often be viewed as disposable in exchange for these elite formations. The RV-109 Rebellion is derived from the reversed engineered storm surge, which were largely produced in limited numbers by the Republic. This variant would be known as the UH-1X Upheaval, and it was considered as a significant failure for the Republic. With their main focus being on RV-90 series suits, engineers and designers in the Crosstaga, namely the Kiva Collective Design Bureau, would reorganize the unit into becoming a command unit for multiple squads of RV-90s. This would be considered highly successful in terms of firepower as well as command and control. The Rebellion's production has already begun to accelerate with its success against their imperialist masters. Reverse engineered and improved upon, albeit with less modularity, versatility, and weapon options, the RV-98 Revolution was created from captured example of the Ta'al Riptide. With an improved high-velocity accelerator carbonite Gatling cannon known by its model number the B-8-100 quote turmoil unquote cannon, it has become an invaluable asset to the TRLA. Highly maneuverable and powerful, it has an extremely high reputation among revolutionary pilots. As an aside though, the lack of ionic and plasma weaponry is noteworthy as it relies exclusively on conventional weaponry and has few options. Incapable of miniaturizing much of their own technology sufficiently to match their prior overlords, the Ta'al People's Republic struggle to produce their medium suit designs, namely their variant of the Crisis Suit, the Seditionist and its offshoots, and, as well, have no ability to create suits as advanced and sophisticated as the command suits of the Ta'al Empire. It is a rare privilege to capture one, and these designs are treated with extreme care and maintenance. Battlefield leaders, namely Comrade Captain Rank, associates and individuals, wear these suits into battle knowing that every one lost is nearly irreplaceable. Though their, ca though their captured nature does provide them with one benefit, which is a greater access to advanced Ta'al weaponry in order to be able to be more effective when needed in the war of liberation against their former oppressors. It is noteworthy that there are units outside of the general military authority, most notably the Bureau of Internal Security, equipped with various battle suits of various types, ranging from the I-55B Insurgent, an equivalent of the stealth suit, 
or being given heavier suits such as the RV-90 series machines, these soldiers are deployed to handle special operations or to act as overseers in particularly difficult campaigns. As to ensure the reliability of the soldiers on the battlefield in an attempt to secure victory or favorable outcomes for the People's Republic. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this content today, please hit the like button. And if you'd be so kind to also hit the subscribe button as we do live streams every single day, as well as I attempt to post a video on average every day as well. Uh, we go over models, lore, and really any assortment of Warhammer things. Thank you and have yourselves a great day.